So basically, we're going off to Egypt to represent the country in the Hockey Junior Africa Cup, which is the World Cup qualifiers. So it's kind of a big deal. Eight hour drive to Harare, then three connecting flights, Harare, Lusaka, Lusaka, Addis Ababa, then Addis Ababa to Cairo. And that's not even where the trip ends. So let's get into this. Okay, so the bag limit is something like 23 kg, the weight limit. So, what is the fastest way to check if your bag is over the weight limit or not? Well, as a gym hand that can barely bench the bar, obviously the quickest way would be to just see if I can bench my suitcase. Do you see the logic? Do you see how efficient this is? Yeah, I think I should be okay. The suitcase right here. Lightweight. Lightweight. Too easy. Too easy. Spiling up, just like a rich nigga staircase. No glass on, please stay the fuck in my airspace. Niggas say things behind back, the day was their say. No, it's not sight when I see you, I'm working in square space. Yeah! Shut up the moon, you know that you thought I was doing it. Okay, now I have the energy to be making noises. But of course, I don't want to be like the problem with everyone else in the house, so... Let's finish this packing thing. Okay, so here comes in the disorganized last minute packing. Like, you know when you're just throwing in any random things you think you might need, even though you know you probably won't? In all honesty, I was kind of surprised that my suitcase closed so quickly. My hand luggage, on the other hand, we had to pack everything, our playing kit, our shin pads, boots, everything, like we were jumping off the plane and jumping straight into our match. Please do not ask me why I look so grumpy in this moment, even I don't know, I was probably hungry again, but hey, off to the airport we go. In all honesty, these airport shots are just basically the same thing from my Dubai vlogs. Kele. How you feeling, love? How you feeling? How you feeling? Um, excited. Oh, of course. Gonna have to talk a little bit louder. There's a whole lot of noise. Um, don't forget to like. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. You know the vibe. So we checked in quite early and had a whole lot of free time, so we just decided to be stupid. Mr. Supermodel, yes, Mr. Supermodel, yes, yes, sir. So somebody's child found out that I won Miss Teen Catwalk and was like, hey, you need to do your whole catwalk over here right now. And I was like, hey, if you do it, I'm gonna do it. And that just turned into a whole catwalk fashion runway tutorial. Featuring on my bug again. How are you feeling? I'm alright. You're alright? Yeah. Just alright? Just alright. Just alright. Not too oh, excited, but hmm? yeah. Okay. Feeling good. Feeling good? Yeah. Let's see how this goes. Guys, traveling with people you consider your homies is so mad. It is honestly so weird, especially when you guys are out here, stuck sitting next to each other for like a whole six, eight hour flight. And I promise you, the first two hours of that flight, 
with nothing but thirst, nothing but ketchup, nothing but vibes for a whole two hours straight minimum. By the time we reached Ethiopia, I was honestly so tired and so mentally and emotionally and physically done. And we weren't even close to done with the trip. We didn't bomb me. Yeah. What do you expect? YouTube advice. <laughs> Can you see it? Oh wait. Can you see it? Can you see it? Can you see Where is this one? <laughs> Okay, so this is basically us getting off the plane, heading through to the little shuttle, and I don't know why we were doing a little run. It seems like we're always in a panic, like we were just worried that we're going to be left behind at every single point. And that was Coach Nick's, by the way. I'm pretty sure majority of this trip was during the night because Lusaka, Cairo, Addis Ababa, I don't even know what the airports look like during daytime. Just can you like can you just not go there like normal human beings? I understand we are national athletes. So just take note of how at this point we're just chilling, we're walking, we're all calm, good vibes. However, we hadn't taken a lot of the time difference. Now, do you see the shift in the pace? Do you see the panic starting to set in? Of course, I'm gonna be <laughs> So, we're all over here running like we haven't done enough fitness in the past couple of months because this woman is at the gate shouting Cairo, 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 and we're like, oh, damn, that's us. <laughs> I got a few clips in. We made it on time. We're good to go. We're good to go. I did not know now. Now, passport. And this was finally our last stretch all the way to Cairo, well our last stretch in the air because yeah, we still had quite a bit of traveling left to go and I don't even have much footage of that flight because I jumped in, I clicked a movie and I was light out cold. Guys, when I say I want to be happy in life, this is what I'm talking about. Do you see our coach in this moment? Like that is what vlog. I want for myself. It's really that simple. The son thinks he's the coolest son in Egypt. <laughs> officially in Cairo no issues whatsoever safe travels everybody had their luggage no issues whatsoever vloggy vlog hi vlog yes at 1am it's 1am it's literally 1am at least we're here at least we are here